Hi, I'm Michael Dupson, and this is Episode 8 of The Convection Connection. Lava lamps, silly putty, and the Earth's interior. What do all three have in common? We'll find out next as Dr. Alex Weaver and the ever-curious Larry Green discuss all three. The Earth on which we live is shaped like a ball. It's round. We live on a thin solid layer called the crust. Beneath the crust is the mantle, which is a special kind of fluid called a viscoelastic solid. Believe it or not, some of you have already played with a viscoelastic solid, like this one. Well, this looks a lot like uh, silly putty. Is that what the Earth's mantle is made out of? Well, it's not made of silly putty, but it behaves just like silly putty does. Let's see. Now, what does that tell us about what's going on inside the Earth? Well, let's look at some of the properties of silly putty. If you start with this piece, if you pull it apart slowly, it flows and stretches. Fluid. Just like a fluid. Okay. If you pull it apart quickly, uh -huh. oh, it just snapped. It breaks and snaps. We're going to do another experiment to demonstrate the same thing. So just to look at that again, what we're going to see with this piece of silly putty when we put it on the head of the hammer, right. like that, mm -hmm. okay. is that if we deform the silly putty slowly, meaning just kind of bumping it, right? Well, we dented the top, didn't we? Yep. Okay. It's elastic. It's a fluid. It's flowing. It doesn't, not very much happens to it. Okay. If we deform it quickly. Meaning I smash it. Right. Let's see what happens. Oh! oh what a mess. All right, kids, don't be doing this at home. You're going to be really causing some problems. Now, I bet you're wondering what this all has to do with convection inside the earth. I am. Let's go take a look at the lava lamp. We've talked about how convection happens in gases in the atmosphere, in liquids in the ocean, and now we're going to talk about how it happens in solids in the Earth's mantle. I know this is a lava lamp from my youth, and uh, it's, it's quite a heat source. It is. So what do you think is going on in here? Well, the fluid in the bottom is being heated, so it's becoming less dense, and since it's less dense, it has a, a chance to rise. And then once it gets up to the top and cools, it's cooler up here, it becomes more dense and then sinks back to the bottom. Exactly. So we've got convection going on inside the lava lamp, just the way it happens in the Earth's mantle. One thing to remember about convection in the Earth's interior is that it happens very slowly over a period of millions of years. Next time, in episode 9 of the Convection Connection, we'll talk about a very hot topic, convection inside the sun.